Have you ever heard of a, a presentation or an opportunity and said to yourself, man, I wish I had been there. Why didn't I get myself there? Well, there's going to be a lot of people saying that about Dr. Robert Rukowski's presentation this weekend. If you're one of those people, we've got the ticket for you. We've got it recorded. Enjoy. Take it away, Dr. Bob. Thank you so much. So, we're going to do a nice summary of uh, this amazing coffee opportunity. And when I talk to the top people at Organo Wool, they say there's absolutely three things that make this genius. Number one is the miracle of Ganoderma. Number two is the reality of coffee. And then number three is the business opportunity of the century, endorsed by people like Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, Warren Buffett, being a business where you can actually leverage your time and resources and become rich beyond words by just sharing an opportunity with people. In fact, that's really the, the basis of this business. You share coffee, you share the opportunity, and you teach others to do the same. But when we talk about this herb Ganoderma, understand that this may be the most documented medicinal herb in the history of the planet. There's over 4,000 years of clinical human trials. It was originally reserved for the emperors of China and the royal families. Anybody caught with this herb that was not royalty, first offense had their arm cut off, second offense their head cut off, because the herb was that value. Today, there are over 1,800 peer-reviewed medical studies on PubMed, 250 alone on the anti-cancer benefits. Now, one thing we'll say is that we can't make direct claims or health claims about the product, because reality is we don't have a double-blind placebo-controlled trial with the coffee itself, but we can mention a number of things that the herb has been proven to do in human clinical trial, and one of the things that it does is it decreases inflammation in the body, controls a number of pro-inflammatory molecules, and inflammation is the top risk factor for cardiovascular disease, the number one killer on the planet, the top risk factor for cancer, the number two killer on the planet, and it's related to every type of chronic disease known to man, which is 80% of all health expenditures, estimated to cost the world about $47 trillion over the next 20 years. Because it decreases inflammation, it actually increases something in the body called nitric oxide, which dilates blood vessels and therefore increases oxygen to the tissue. Just imagine how your body would do with more oxygen. Understand that oxygen drives human energy production. 94.4% of human energy is made in something called mitochondria, and it all requires oxygen. The last thing I'll suggest that it does, and I could keep going on and on, is it actually increases the immune system and by itself is anti-infective. So it's good for killing parasites, yeast, fungus, bacteria, and even cancer. If we look at coffee, it is the number two commodity on the planet, second only to oil. It is the number two beverage, second only to water. So people wake up to coffee all over the world every single day. The most recent estimate is there are about 800 billion cups consumed per year or a trillion cups every 15 months. I like to quote Warren Buffett. He says, what you do should be your hobby. What the world does should be your business. So when we start looking at this business model, the model of direct sales, it's amazing that you can leverage time and money so easily. And you do this by sharing the opportunity. So right now as this goes on, and it, this may not be a timeless video, but there's something called the ice bucket or ice water challenge where we're trying to raise money for a very good cause, ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. But literally I got nominated a few days ago and I dumped a bucket of ice over my head and I nominated three other people who nominated three people who nominated three people nominated three people. Now my entire family has done it. Uh, everybody's been nominated some way or another. So if we just built by threes, if you tell two, three friends and they tell three friends, that's nine, and they tell three friends, that's 27, and they tell three friends, that's 81, and they tell three, that's 243, then I'm going to start getting a little confused. I think it's 729, and then eventually we're going to be at 2100 plus 
But if you go through those multiples in this coffee business, to be in the big money, you need to go through about seven boxes a month. Now understand I drink four black coffees a day. That's four boxes over the course of a month. My wife drinks three black coffees per day. So between us, we get seven boxes. The average coffee drinker, by the way, drinks 3.3 cups a day and spends $1,100 a year on coffee. So that's pretty powerful. But if, if people go through seven boxes, that's basically $100 a piece. By the time you have 2,100 people on your team, I like multiplying by 100 because you just add two zeros, you would have $210,000 per month in volume of coffee. The average organic gold distributor gets between 8 and 12% per month of their total team volume. So 10% of 210,000 is $21,000 a month. So that works pretty well. One of the things that I was sharing with Barney that he liked a whole lot is the reasons that people make food choices. So in the US, the top four reasons that people choose what they put in their mouth is number one, taste. So if you go to a restaurant and you're looking at the number of items on the menu, you should say, you know what, I like that most. So you choose it based on that. Number two is actually convenience. If you have a choice of spending three or four hours making a meal or just going down the street and getting something prepared, you should go get to something that's prepared. These two factors have made fast food a $169 billion a year industry in the U.S. And in factor number three, which is price. There was an article years ago that was entitled, The High Cost of Cheap Food, and they said it was basically chronic illness. There was another article entitled, Is McDonald's Poisoning America? And the answer was yes, but no worse than anybody else. So I don't know if that makes it right, but nonetheless, that was there. The number four factor was actually health. So when you look at that, I think it's kind of backwards. Personally, I choose health first, and then I work my way up the chain that way. But if you're going to compare organic gold coffee to, let's say, McDonald's or Starbucks, some people are going to say that they prefer the McDonald's or Starbucks brand. I guess that's kind of true. Uh, I prefer the organic gold straight on taste, as do a number of people. When we look at convenience, you can carry these sachets with you anywhere. I remember the first time I went through an airport uh, after 9-11. I was at, in the waiting area, I got a Starbucks. I paid $5 for a venti black coffee with two shots of espresso. And as I started going through security, they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, you gotta stop, you gotta drink that right here and right now. I said, I, I got a flight to catch. They said, you better chug it then. Well, I'm not gonna chug something that's 200 degrees, that doesn't work. So I ended up spilling out my coffee, as did a lot of people. I have no problem getting through air, airport security with this anywhere I go. I can get a cup of hot water, and I've only been charged at a few restaurants for hot water. Most of them are going to be here for free. So we're going to give Organic Gold a nod on convenience. A small black coffee from Starbucks is $1.49, from McDonald's is $1.39. If you're a wholesale buyer with Organic Gold, it costs you 57 cents. So it has a beat on price. And then you look at the health benefits. This coffee is actually pH neutral, has this pH of seven, just the same as water, whereas normal coffee is acidic, and it has a therapeutic dose of Ganoderma, the number one documented medicinal herb with no known toxicity and no known drug interactions. So just getting people to change their brand of coffee can make a massive difference, and one of the catchphrases of the company is, change your coffee, change your life. It's just a matter of how much you want to change it. If you want to build a massive business like myself and my family have done, you literally can create a lifetime of riches, and we found it relatively easy to do. I have three major businesses, all doing over a million dollars a year. My first one took nine years of schooling, 23 employees, and 60 hours a week. My second real estate business cost me over a million dollars in cash to get started in it, and I have equity there, but uh, that, that's a business that's not created a lot of margin. And then there's this business, which by the time you do about 80,000 a month in this business times 12, that's nearly a million dollars a year. We are able to create that our fourth month of building business. It's easy, it's simple, it's coffee. We welcome you to join the team, take the challenge, enjoy the coffee, enjoy the benefits, change your coffee, change your life. Thanks for sharing your time.